use of repetition in this piece of slam poetry, which I'll be touring around half full art centres in the spring, entitled, I Hate Keir Starmer. <laughs> Starmer. I hate him aesthetically. I hate his fussy little, too perfect, just shy of Nazi officer haircut. I hate his Prime Minister from Central Casting Face, which initially seemed designed by committee, but increasingly suffers from having an expression slapped on it like he's desperately trying to explain away his role in a sex scandal at the dog pound he runs. <laughs> sound like an HR meeting you didn't really need to be at. <laughs> Starman is a small man, physically short, yes, but that's not really notable, except as a symbol of the immense spiritual shortness that it signifies. He is aesthetically petty and dull, a piece of hotel art made man. <laughs> Starmer. I hate him ethically. I hate the way that Starmer poses as an honest man, then casually breaks every pledge he made to the Labour membership before they elected him as leader. I hate that he's a liar and he's not even good at it. Plainly what he is good at is being a coward. I hate Keir Starmer because what we all need is the possibility of actually doing something. Concrete action that might actually make the world a better place and Keir Starmer is a fat blocking this possibility. I hate Keir Starmer like a malfunctioning bus stop sign. They keep telling me my bus is about to show up, but it never does. I hate Keir Starmer because he has been imposed on me, whether I like it or not, and he will not go away. The only time he looked like winning an election was when he was up against Liz Truss. A blustering idiot who seems to have gotten lost on the way to filming a series of The Apprentice. <laughs> accidentally ended up being appointed Prime Minister. Even if Starmer was replaced, one suspects his wing of the Labour Party would conspire to put Shadow Health Secretary Wes Streeting in charge instead. Someone who looks like Starmer's son, who he made out of margarine. <laughs> I hate Keir Starmer, but I don't want to hate Keir Starmer. What I want, what we need, is a world in which nobody hates him, because nobody has to think about him at all. <laughs>